Okay, we're gonna put the extruder controller motor on these parts. You'll have two parts for the extruder motor, and this is gonna go on this position for the, the hinge. So you'll need three one and a half inch number eight screws and small washers. Put the washer on the number eight screw. Put the number eight screw in these three counterboard holes. And then we'll put the motor on the back of that. And you want to make sure that the, the wires are going in the upwards direction. So all the screws are in. Now we're just going to put on the, the nuts and screw them on. Okay, tighten them, but you want to make sure you want to tighten them evenly because you have a protruded area here. Alternatively, you can put spacers or washers here to space this out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to take the 5 16th inch screw. We're going to put it into this larger hole that we have on this piece, like that. We'll put the bearing on, and then the nut goes on after that. Now we can go ahead and attach this piece to the extruder motor mount. We're going to be using a quarter inch screw, one and a half inch inches in length. We're going to put it through this hole. We'll have a washer that goes on this point. And we're going to be using two nuts for the to fasten this down. And you can fasten it to finger tightness and then put this one against the other one. And you'll want to tighten these two together using two wrenches. And using two of these is just to keep the, the two nuts in place and not putting too much um, force on these two pieces together. And they'll still be able to move. Now we're going to take this piece, which is the Z-axis rail support, and we need to put these screws in first. But you'll notice that there's four holes, and we have to only use three of these holes to hold the extruder assembly. And you'll also notice there was only three holes over here. Since the rails are going to be on this side, we have counterboards in these screw hole locations. So when you put the screw in, you'll notice it's flat, so the rail will be able to be placed on top of that without a problem. And this is the reason why we need to put the screws in first, because the rails will be covering the holes where we need to put these screws. It's going to be oriented in this fashion, with these screws on the bottom, and this will be oriented on the bottom in this fashion as well. well you'll also need one of these pieces, which has two holes, and we're going to be putting the piece against the Z-axis rail support. And you'll also notice that the long side of this is to the right, and the short side of this is to the left. This is where the extruder is going to be um, placed. And the extruder controller will be, will be put into the slide here. And the other screw that we need to use, since this hole is on, the, on this far area, we'll need to put the screw into this hole. Then we need to take a, um, a nut and put it on the screw that's not going to have this piece be used as a spacer. We'll put the other nut on just so we can use it as a spacer and then we add it to this assembly. You can go ahead and put the nuts in this position so the, the assembly goes together. And then we put a nut on the final screw. And when you are, and when you're satisfied with the space here and the space here, go ahead and put the inside nut close to this point and you can go ahead and tighten these two nuts together and you can go ahead and tighten these nuts down. And you'll also notice that there are two holes here and there's going to be another two holes here. Well, that's, that's where the metal plate goes to, to house the, the extruder. The extruder will be in this, around this position here. Now you can go ahead and put the rails on the back of the Z-axis rail support piece. And you want to put the serrated hub onto the shaft of the stepping motor and make sure that the serrated hub is equal, the serration part of the hub is equal with the, the bearing. And then you can, you can tighten it down. You might have to have the set screw on this side. Try not to move it, and then tighten the set screw. 